When you become interested in getting a German Shepherd, you realize that the task of simply acquiring one is tougher than it seems. You have to pick the right coat type, color, and pattern, factors most outsiders don't even know exist. In this video, I will briefly cover each of the above so you have a decent idea about the variations. That way, when you go to your local breeder, you will understand the lingo and will be able to articulate what you truly want when getting a German Shepherd. The first section is coat type. This refers to the dog's coat length and quantity. This is mainly divided into lengths, short-haired, medium-haired, and long-haired, and in quantity. Single coat and double coat. Short-coated German Shepherds have a short, dense top coat, guard coat, with straight, coarse hair which lies close to the dog's body. The fur around the neck is slightly longer and thicker, and they have marginally longer hair on the rear of the hind legs to the hock and the rear of the forelegs. To take care of a short-haired German Shepherd's coat, you must groom him fairly regularly. This entails brushing him two to three times a week. This will help remove loose fur trapped in his coat and simultaneously form a mutual appreciation bond. Medium-haired German Shepherds are also referred to as plush coats because of their coat's plushness. They have a fuller look, and they combine the most desirable traits of both the short-haired and long-haired types. Longer topcoat fur makes a dog look aesthetic. Shedding in plush-coated dogs also increases in the fall and spring when they shed their undercoat ready for the new season ahead. Regular brushing also fluffs up the coat for the best appearance. Medium coats should also be bathed two to three times per year as overbathing will dry their skin and remove natural oils. Long-coated German Shepherds have a long, soft topcoat that does not sit close to the body. The hair is often shiny and may form a parting along the back. Feathering occurs on the ears and legs, and they will have longer and thicker fur around the neck, which looks like a mane. On average, the topcoat features hair of at least two inches in length. Looking at the appearance of long-coated GSDs, one would assume they require a lot of washing. That's the opposite of the truth. The lack of an undercoat makes it too risky to wet the topcoat as the dog can get cold. That's why three baths a year are more than enough for this variety. Now that we've looked at different lengths of coat, it's time to head on to common patterns in the next section. A double coat is the preferred type among German Shepherds as per the American Kennel Club standards for the breed. It is also closer to the dog's wolf ancestors. Over 90% of the breed has two coats, both of which undergo high shedding. The only German Shepherds with a missing undercoat are the long-haired ones. In some rare instances, a short-haired German Shepherd might have a very thin undercoat and might be disqualified from the show ring for the same reason. Such a dog isn't a standard double coat. Sometimes a breeder might tell you that the German Shepherd has two coats and is open-coated. As far as the AKC is concerned, such a dog has only the top coat, which means he cannot enter a conformation event. Having an open coat doesn't affect the dog's health, and if you want a German Shepherd as a pet only, the single coat shouldn't discourage you. That said, you should not pay a premium price for an open coat since such a coat type is considered a fault. Let's head on to the final section, coat markings. German Shepherds are rarely a single block of solid color. They often feature different colors, distributed in one of a handful of patterns. Whether the dog you want is bicolor or not, he is likely to fit in one of the following patterns. Solid color, this is more of a lack of pattern than a pattern. Dogs that are a solid color are usually entirely black but can also feature a different color. Saddle, this distribution pattern looks like the German Shepherd has a saddle on his back. The color of the saddle is usually black, the darker of the bicolor arrangement. Blanket, when the saddle pattern is large enough to cover almost the entire back and a significant portion of the limbs, it is called a blanket pattern. German Shepherds with this pattern have contrasting fur. Sable, this is a color contingent pattern where tan, red, gray, silver, or blue hair is peppered across the dog's core, back, and limbs. The other color is usually black, which occurs on the tips of individual hairs, producing the sable color pattern. Brindle, this is a rarer pattern with black color being distributed in barely noticeable stripes across the dog's body. The other color is often lighter. Panda, this is a pattern that usually comes in addition to a saddle or a blanket where the dark color of the dog's back is also distributed around his eyes, giving him a panda-like appearance. 
White markings, these markings can scare away some people who start doubting the puppy's viability for dog shows. However, they usually go away as the German Shepherd doesn't regrow the lighter fur. Mask, this is a pattern often in addition to blanket or saddle, where the contrasting dark color also covers the dog's face with lighter fur surrounding it, giving an appearance of a mask. Reverse mask, this distribution gives the dog a wolf-like appearance as the lighter fur makes up the mask, and the darker fur surrounds it and even connects with the saddle or blanket. This pattern looks eerily similar to wolves, especially if it is in silver and white. And yes, finally, we have come to the end of this video where we have explained everything about coats, coat patterns, and markings. Tell us what your GSD's coat is like.